YouTube, what's going on guys? I was just being selfish and I was actually doing my intake install here on my 2015 Lancer Rally Art so that I do have the AEM intake that I am installing. So I did buy this off of somebody off of Facebook Marketplace. But since I didn't buy this brand new, it doesn't have all the parts assembled or disassembled the way they would be out of the box. So I didn't, well, I didn't figure to do a full install video, but I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys some little clips and then I'll show you guys the installation itself. But yeah, right now I am in the middle of tearing everything apart. So I got hoses disconnected. I got the stock air box out. Here's my old filter. This is the Cosworth drop-in filter, by the way. Done pretty good. Here's the back side, obviously clean. Doing its job. Got the sway bar removed over there, snorkel. But the way I'm doing everything, I'm doing it right by the book of instructions that AEM sends you and the box that you would get if you ordered through them. So, yeah, I'm just kind of going through all these instructions. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy so far. So, I'll go ahead and catch you guys up starting now, I guess. But yeah, I'm basically at the point where I'm going to remove the upper portion of this pipe or this tube. Got everything disconnected. Uh, minus one thing. So far, majority of everything has been a 10 millimeter or a Phillips head screwdriver. So, either or would work. And in this case, this one's a 10 millimeter or a Phillips as well. These are just little band clamps holding everything together. Should come right out. So I just had to get a flathead screwdriver back there to kind of pry it loose. But there we go, there's that. And for those of you like me who've ever, who have never actually removed your stock box back here, you can see a little turb ski back there. Right there. If you follow this tube along, this tube right, if you follow this tube along, goes down here. Right there where that little pink is, that's our little inlet. Hmm. By the way, T20 bit. All right, stock MAF sensor is out. Now it's important to remember what direction the flow goes in. You got the arrow and flowing that way. So I'm just gonna sit in there just like so. Gonna be the first thing I dropped in here today. I gotta fish out my ring somewhere. So there's a reason I usually buy all new parts because you get all the hardware that you're supposed to get. I'm not gonna name anybody, but I am missing a hose. It's right here for the instructions of the AEM intake. Right here, you guys will see they supply you with a coupling hose. Well, I didn't get that in my box. Luckily for me, I saved some tubing and stuff from my intercooler pipes. I was able to make, I was able to do a makeshift one for now until I get that coupler. So that's what I got right here. I was able to cut a tube to connect from here to the actual intake. So that's what I got going on there. Anyways, that's why I didn't really get to film too much because I was going all out of order, McGyvern or McGyver and everything. So that was that. But with this headache, it is almost over. All I really gotta do now is install this little AEM cover. I am gonna be painting this black or possibly even orange to go fit with the rest of the car. And then I'll go ahead and tune it and see what we get. And before we throw that cover on, we'll go ahead and make sure this is all fit up correctly. We don't have any leaks going on. All right, lovely assistant, go ahead and start the car up. Just go ahead and give it a couple revs for me. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure there's no leaks. That's good. She just brought up a good point. After the whole 
exhaust system or the straight pipe, that car or that grits garage over here is smelling like a freaking jet ski. Woo, that's fuming. All right, well, there you have it. There's my first install video where I really don't show you how to install anything. I just kind of put things together and got the car running. A lot of Frankenstein work going on with this, so thankfully I had extra parts laying around. And just, just a reminder, be weary when you go ahead and buy things online. Ask for pictures. Don't be afraid to ask for pictures and things of that nature. Um, yeah, I'm not mad at the seller or anything. It could have been by accident. I'm not going to call anybody out, but I got it to work. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I got to go ahead and get this tuned. And uh, expect a, a new updated 0 to 60 coming soon. Okay, this Cosworth drop and filter. Um, these are really good. So, if you guys have your stock intakes, highly suggest getting these. This held up pretty good. It's been on the car probably longer than it probably should have, but I had no issues running it. Yep, Cosworth drop and filter. Highly, highly recommend. So for the longest time I had the stock intake and that's because that's perfectly fine. You can get decent power out of the uh, Rallier TDO4 turbo with the stock intake. However, I upgraded to the AEM one because this actually came with the Evo 10 uh, road race engineering adapter to use with the TDO5 uh, turbo. But I might have a change of heart. I might end up going with a cone filter and relocating the battery. But I don't know. We will see. But until then, I'm going to run the GST AEM uh, turbo back exhaust boost pill tune and we'll, we'll play around with that power until I saves up some extra money and then we'll eventually be going with the Evo 10 turbo so that is the plan here as it currently sits but once again there is the AEM intake makes everything kind of look nice and stock in here everything looks OEM for the most part imagine if that was black yeah it'd be pretty OEM looking in here and so if you were going to take on this project, it was relatively, really easy. Just follow the instructions AEM gives you. However, due to the Frankenstein work and things of that nature, um, it made it a little more difficult, but still doable. So if you guys are looking for an intake with simple instructions, definitely go with AEM. Because like I said, I had to mess around with that hose clamp over there. And then kind of the same thing when I bought my intercooler off of somebody online. I had to kind of Frankenstein this little hose right here. So this actually was part of the Evo 10 one. I cut it down and shimmed everything. I cut it down and got it to work this way with the lower intercooler pipe. But all is good. All is good. Everything's working the way it needs to. So I was just about to talk to you guys about all the parts I was keeping. And uh, look at this. Here's my actual Cosworth drop-in filter box. And inside, I have the stock Rallier one. I have no reason why, but... Here's the one that came from manufacturer, original, original on the car. Here's the Cosworth for comparison. Same size and everything. Just this one was more high flowing than the OEM one was. I don't see how, they look exactly the same, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and toss all this stuff no longer needed now that I have the intake up there. But just to clarify, AEM intake, I know on the website, I believe they say you don't need a tune. However, any intake that you're going to throw on these cars, you definitely need a tune. So GST, it's a free base map that you can find on Evo, Evolution, um, and things like that on forums and everything. So it's a free tune if you have a tactics cable. I've done previous videos on this before, so I'm not going to go ahead and run through that. I just want to let you guys know, if you guys do get an intake, you are going to have to run a tune. And that would have been pretty bad. I actually stood that I throw on this this strut bar so I'll go ahead and do that close out this video and um, yeah so if you guys have any questions comments or concerns about installing this or anything of that nature in regards to the AM intake please lay a comment down below and I'll try to address them for you um, like I said this is bought second hand so wasn't through an unboxing or anything I didn't have all the parts so I'll try to help you with what I can but other than that I just want to say thanks for watching never leave your life on and I'll see you guys in the next one peace